Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Reaper has some amazing routing capabilities. You may have seen my video on the routing matrix demystified, or my video on creating aux sends for parallel processing. The routing flexibility in Reaper is unparalleled in other DAWs in my opinion, but it can also be a little bit complicated and include what I would call unnecessary steps if you're looking to route multiple tracks with more than just the default post fader sends. That's where Bus Driver from Monkey Bars comes in handy. Bus Driver is a user-created GUI that provides batch track routing creation and removal in Reaper with full routing settings control. This essentially performs functions that already exist in Reaper, but it does it in a way that makes it much easier. Let's take a look. I have a blank project in front of me. I'll start by creating 10 tracks. And let's add one more and we'll call it Bus. If I'd like to route tracks 1 through 10 to my bus, which is track 11, I can start by clicking track 1, hold shift, and click track 10. Now while still holding shift, I can click the route button on any track, left click, and drag to track 11 and release. This brings up my routing dialog for track 11, and we can see that tracks 1 through 10 have been routed to track 11. Each is routed as post fader, post pan, center balance, and full volume. With these each being a post fader send, what I mean by full volume is I'm not trimming any more than what the track is sending. I can remove these tracks a few different ways. I can click the delete button inside of track 11's routing dialog. I'll remove a few this way. I can close my routing dialog, and I have Reaper configured to show sends on each track. I can hold alt and left click the sends to remove them. Or I can go to the routing matrix by clicking on view and routing matrix. Here I can see that track 11 is still receiving from tracks 8, 9, and 10. I can left click, and that brings up the option to delete one at a time. Or I can press Alt and left click here to remove the sends as well. Let's close the routing matrix. And let's assume that I wanted to route one of my tracks to my bus, but I wanted to bypass the master send. While you can do this in Reaper by creating a folder to contain the tracks that you want to bypass the master, Sometimes you may want to create buses that are not confined by the folder structure. Let's take a look at track number 10, and I can hold Alt and click on the routing button and drag that over to track 11, and we can see that track number 10 has been routed to track number 11, but we can also see by the change in the routing button that it's no longer attached to the master. I'll click the routing button to confirm that, and we can see that master send has been unchecked. I'll undo that by Alt clicking the send, and we'll re-enable the master send here by alt-clicking the routing button. But what if I wanted to route multiple tracks to my bus but still bypass the master send? Let's select tracks 7 through 10, and in our first example we held shift while dragging from the routing button of any of the selected tracks over to our bus track, and in that example we saw that the routing was confirmed. Logic would demand that since holding alt and dragging the routing bypasses the master, that we could hold shift and alt to do the same for a group of tracks. I'll hold shift and alt, and I'll drag from track number 9 to track 11, and let's see what happens. We can see from the routing dialog from track number 11 that's popped up that tracks 7 through 9 are now sending to track 11. 11 is sending to the master, and if we take a look at the routing icons on track 7 through 9, we can see by the colored stripe that it's no longer sending to master. I can also click this to confirm that master send is unchecked. Where it gets a little bit more complicated is if you'd like to send these tracks to another track, but use pre-fader or pre-effect sends. Let's go ahead and undo these and take a look at Bus Driver. I'll re-enable my master sim. And let's say that we wanted to take tracks 1, and I'll hold control to select non-contiguous tracks. We'll also grab track 3, track 5, track 7, and track 9. I'd like to send these to track 11 pre-fader, but also bypass the master send. To my knowledge, there's no way that I can do this with mouse modifiers currently. I would have to either do them one at a time or use the routing matrix, which would involve several clicks. Let's go to our actions list and search for bus driver. Bus driver is not included with Reaper. It is a separate script that has to be installed through Repack. I'll leave a link in the description for the bus driver page on the Reaper forum. There are a few prerequisites that you must have installed in order for bus driver to work. Be sure to follow those instructions carefully and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post a comment in the descriptions or post on the Reaper forum. Now with my track selected, I'll find bus driver in my actions list and run the script. We can see from the dialog that I currently have tracks 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 selected. In the lower section we see all other tracks in the project that are not selected. 
I have an option to either add or remove sends or receives. And I also have an option in the top right to configure my send settings. I'll click that button, and now I can change the configuration for my routing. From the drop-down list, I'd like to choose pre-fader post effects. I can also select different channels for my audio or MIDI. In this case, I only want to change my setting to make sure that these are pre-fader sends. I'd like to send these to track 11, so I'll highlight track 11 for where I send these to. And to my knowledge, at this time, this does not support the option to remove the master send. So I'll go ahead and click Add, and we can see that those have been added, and my tracks are also still selected. So with my tracks still selected, if I wanted to disable the master send, I can hold Alt and click the routing button. And we can see that the master routing stripe has been removed from each of the selected tracks. While that may still include one extra step, this does significantly improve the speed of routing. If I'd like to quickly remove those sends, I can run bus driver again, making sure that my tracks are still selected. And this time, I'll choose Remove instead. As we can see, the lower dialog has changed, and I'm now being asked, which tracks do the sends you want to remove send to? In this case, I'm only sending to track 11. So with 11 selected, I can click Remove. Now if I were sending to multiple tracks, I can select which ones I want to remove to in one shot. I'll hit Remove. And as you can see, all of my sends are now removed. While Bus Driver doesn't necessarily have all the features that I'd like to see in it, it most definitely adds a powerful option to Reaper to help you with your routing. I hope this helps. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee, I Like Coffee, Patreon, or Super Thanks link below. Check out my drum editing and Reaper course on ProMix Academy. And also join us on Discord to engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. He's pounding down, loaded up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can be done. We've got a long way to go and a short term to get there. That was random. <laughs>